dear audience welcome back i hope that you all are fine today i'm going to discuss on integration as antiderivative and integration by the method of substitution first integration as antiderivative dear audience if ddx of f of x plus c equals g of x that means if the derivative of f of x plus c equals g of x then f of x plus c is known as the integral of g of x and whole thing is denoted by integration of d dx of f of x plus c dx equals integration of g of x dx equal which implies as integration of g of x dx equals f of x plus c depending on these concepts i am going to solve a problem that means what is the integral of d dx by x dear audience we know that derivative of ln of x plus c equals 1 by x then by the definition of antiderivative we get integration of d dx ln x plus c dx equals integration of 1 by x dx which implies says integration of 1 by x dx equals ln of x plus c that means integration dd integration dx by x equals ln of x plus c now second problem relating with this concept the second problem is what is the integral of integration of f prime of x dx by f of x where f prime of x is the derivative of f of x first we consider this given integral is uh, as uh, this given integral as i and f of x equal z then by the definition of differential we can write f prime of x dx equals dz and substituting this f prime of x dx by dz we get i equals integration of dz by z and using the above problem we can write ln of z plus c but we consider z equals f of x so substituting this z by f of x we get ln of f of x plus c but you must uh, keep it in your heart that inside the um, that means after the ln you must put the positive function that means the negative function cannot be accepted there Dear audience, now I am going to discuss on the integration by the method of substitutions. For doing the integration by the method of substitutions, uh, we should have some idea about the following formula like derivative of f of x plus c equal g of x, then we can write integration of ddx of f of x plus c dx equals g of x dx that means f of x plus c equals integration of g of x dx that means it is the def definition of antiderivative similarly we have to have an idea about the differential that means if y equals f of x then dy equals f prime of x dx but the most important but and the most important concept in case of integration by the method of substitutions you should remember that if in the given integral one part equals the differential of other part then we must substitute the considering other part as the another variable for an example in first example uh, we have to determine the integration of f of x plus b dx dear audience here we get the two functions one of them ax plus b and another is the differential dx 
if we consider ax plus b as a y then finding the differential of this function we'll find that dy is equal to adx and dx is equal to 1 by a dy that means from considering ax plus b equals y we can get find the value of we can get the value of dx that means differential dx now substituting dx by 1 by a dy in the given integral then we find i equals integration y to the power n 1 by a dy since 1 by a is a constant so we can keep it outside of integration sign then it becomes 1 by a integral of y to the power n dy but we know the standard integral that integration of x to the power n dx equals x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 and it is similar as that formula or that standard um, integral but replacing y by ax plus b we get 1 divided by n plus 1 into ax plus b whole to the power n plus 1 and plus c where c is the integral constant similarly we can solve the problem problem uh, two that means integration sine ax plus b dx let i equals sine integration of sine ax plus b dx and ax plus b equals y now according to the defi definition of differential we get adx equals dy which implies as dx equals 1 by a dy so i equals integration sin x sin ax plus b dx equals sin y 1 by a dy and since 1 by a is a constant so we can keep out from the integration sign and we can write 1 by a integration sin y dy and again it is the standard integral that means integration of sin y dy equals minus cos y and in place of 1 by a we write 1 by a that means ultimately it becomes minus 1 by a cos of ax plus b and here we should put the integral constant c though i did not write it here Similarly, you can solve the problem that means integration of cos of ax plus b dx and its integral will be 1 by a sine ax plus b. I hope that you will do it yourself. Dear audience, now I am going to discuss a most important problem. Um, I think that you will be attentive so that you can understand integration 10x dx first of all i consider i equals integration 10x dx which can be written as integration sine x by cos x dx and we also consider cos x equal z and from here we can write minus sine x dx equals dz which implies as sine x dx equals minus z now substituting sin x dx by minus dz it becomes i equals integration of minus dz by z and putting the minus sign outside of the integration sign then it becomes integration of dz by z and it can be written as ln of z plus c where c is a integral constant now again substitute z by cos of x then we get minus ln of cos of x plus c and minus ln cos x can be written as 1 by sec of x and according to the 
rule of logarithm we can write minus ln of 1 plus ln of sec of x plus c here it should be minus ln of sec of x but as there were, there were a minus sign before the minus before the ln that is why it will become plus ln of sec of x and here it is the integral constant but again we do know that ln of 1 is 0 so we can write ln of sec of x plus c that means integration of tan of x can be written as ln of sec of x plus c the next problem is the integration of cot of x dx equals ln of sine of x plus c please do yourself problem number six integration of sec of x equals ln of sec of x ten of x plus c or ln of ten of pi by four plus x by two plus c dear audience first of all i consider i equals sec of x and i equals integration of sec of x dx and this also can be arranged in this way that means integration of sec of x sec of x plus 10 of x whole divided by sec of x 10 of x here sec of x 10 of x and uh, sec of x 10 of x will be cancelled and we will find that integration of sec of x dx in next line we can write sec, sec square x plus sec of x 10x dx divided by sec of x 10x now we consider sec of x 10 of x equal z and which implies is sec square x plus sec x 10x dx equals dz now substituting these that means substituting sec square x plus sec x 10x dx by dz we get i equals integration of dz by z and this can be written as ln of z plus c but again we substitute z by sec of x and sec of x plus 10 of x now substituting these we get ln of sec of x plus 10 of x plus c where c is the integral constant again sec of x plus 10 of x can be written as uh, 10 of pi by 4 plus x by 2 so the integration sec of x dx can be written as ln of sec of x plus 10 of x plus c again substituting sec of x plus 10 of x by 10 of pi by 4 plus x by 2 we get ln of 10 of pi by 4 plus x by 2 plus c where c is an integral constant similarly you can solve the problem number seven that means integration of cos of x dx equals ln of 10 of x by 2 plus c and equal or minus ln of cos of x plus cot of x plus c dear audience pausing this video you can solve the problem number seven here um, the problem number seven is uh, given here that means the solution of the problem number seven also given here pausing this video you can um, solve this problem i hope that you could understand today's lesson and i will come back again with a new video tutorial till then goodbye